Okay, here's another video. Uh, this is David Wilson with the Software Freedom School. Um, the lovely green background is for Ross. The self-portrait is for Troy Ridgely. And you guys still aren't getting picture in picture. Um, maybe someday. And uh, the... Thank you with the QR code is in case you would like to send me a tip for making this awesome video for you. That would be very nice and it would make me feel good and um, it would cost you almost nothing if you send like one milli Bitcoin, like a nickel. Isn't that lovely? Um, so what I'm going to do today is go through this password reset process. Uh, this is another video having to do with the RHCE study group. Uh, one of the very first things, and this is a well-known secret, so I don't feel like I'm betraying anyone's trust or Red Hat's trust by telling you. Um, when you take the RHCSA or RHCE exam, the very first thing you have to do is unlock your machine. Uh, so... I'm going to show you how to unlock your machine. Uh, and I'm going to be following Red Hat's official process mm -hmm. on that. If I can find my note, I'm going to stop this video and then I'll come back and make more in a minute after I find my note. All right, I found my note. Uh, my note directed me to this doc over at redhat.com which uh, deals with how to uh, reset the, this is procedure 24.5, uh, deals with how to reset the uh, lost root password using the system D, uh, it's like a run level, but it's, a, it's called a target, um, rd.break and turning off SE Linux with enforcing equals zero so that we don't have to relabel the whole file system. Mm -hmm. uh, on the small virtual machine that I'm gonna use, it doesn't matter, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this process in case uh, one day you're using the same process on a very large system with a large file system. Uh, again, this is for uh, the RH Red Hat Certified Certification Study Group for the Software Freedom School. If you'd like to see more of our materials, they're at, on GitLab under the SoFreeS group, and our website is SoFree.us. Without further ado, I'm going to start dealing with the machine. Now, I know the password to log in right now, but I'm going to show you a way to get to a password that you don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my password to one that I don't know uh, using UUIDGEN. UUIDGEN is fantastic for generating very long passwords. Um, let's, uh, this, this is actually the whole command, but let's break it down by pieces. UUIDGEN gives you uh, long, long alpha num with dashes. Basically it's giving you universally unique identifiers and every one is different. I don't know what it uses as its source of entropy. Uh, whatever it is, it's going to give me a password that I can't possibly guess. Since I have to provide that password twice to the password command, I'm going to need to assign it to a variable. Uh, so I'm going to assign it to the variable new password, and then I'm going to use the extended echo command with a slash n for a new line so that I'm echoing that new password twice. And as you can see, it is echoing um, the new password uh, twice, and the new password is unique. So now I'm going to add the last piece to it, which is to use the password command as root using the standard in switch, which is only present on Red Hat distributions. And I'm going to first blow away the password for root. 
And then I'm going to blow away my own password. And uh, now I don't know any of my uh, passwords. So the next thing is to exit, get back to a login prompt, make sure that my password reset did work. Um, I don't know my password or Root's password on this system anymore. In VirtualBox, uh, it's host delete to send a control alt delete. So host delete starts the system rebooting. Uh, when I get to this menu, I'm gonna hit E to edit the boot stanza. I'm gonna come down to the Linux line which says Linux 16, uh, control E. Yeah, control E takes me to the end of the line. I'm gonna get rid of three pieces that I don't need. RHGB, I don't need the RH uh, Red Hat graphical boot. I don't need a quiet boot, and I don't need uh, to specify a language. I'm going to say that the I'm going to specify the target that I want to boot to, which is rd.break. You may remember that from the document. Uh, if not, you can um, search for that procedure on Red Hat's website. And I'm going to turn SE Linux enforcing off. So enforcing equals zero. The, that's the magic piece that keeps me from having to relabel my whole file system. So control X to continue booting the system. It's going to drop me to a root shell and what would normally be the root file system has been mounted to sys image, uh, sys, oh hell, I don't know where it's, sys root. Uh, it's been mounted at sys root. So you can see the contents of what's normally my root file system mounted at sys root. It's also mounted read only. So the first thing that I need to do is remount it. Mount dash O remount and remount it read write. I need to specify what I'm remounting. So now it's been mounted read write. And the next thing I need to do is make it my root file system. Now that I'm in the proper root file system and it's read write and, and you're missing a lot of really great hand waving again, um, I'm going to reset root's password. And I'm going to reset DL Wilson's password. I actually will never need root's password, but I'm I'm just as if I were sitting in the exam. In the exam, you'll uh, use the root account a lot, but in real life, you should not be a neckbeard and you should not use root shell. So now both of these guys' passwords have been reset. Can I reboot? No, I have to first get out of this root shell, or out of the cheroot is what I meant. I have to get out of the cheroot. I have to remount that file system read only and then I can continue the boot. You can type exit and hit enter or just uh, use the keyboard f and go uh, type control D. Control D is the same as exit or log out. Uh, and it's a lot faster to type when you have a thousand uh, shells open. I should be able to log in as myself. And there I logged in as myself. And I should be able to log in as root. The same password. Um, and that worked. And again, I'm logging out with a control D. Uh, so that is the end of this demonstration. Again, if you found the video useful, send a tip to that there, either the uh, PayPal or the Bitcoin address, uh, it will be oh so nice. Thank you for watching.